Chapter 4 Formulas and Functions in Excel 2010 MS Excel is a program used for creating spreadsheets by entering the data and maintaining records. One of the most powerful features in Excel is the ability to calculate numerical information using formulas. The predefined formulas or programs which perform calculations on specific values in Excel are known as functions. Formulas A formula is used for performing calculations of some type and providing returns which are displayed in the cells. All Excel formulas have the same general structure. A formula in Excel always begin with an equal sign and can include following types of data items. Numeric and text values, constants, arithmetic operators, comparison operators, functions, sum, parentheses. A cell or a range of cells that you want to include in your calculation. Entering simple formula. A formula can be a simple formula with single operator or a complex one with multiple operators. It must start with an equal to sign. To enter the formula to calculate total marks of a student in all the five subjects, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the cell in which you want to display the result. Step 2. Type an equal sign and then type the formula. Notice the color of the cell name typed in the formula and the corresponding color of the border that appears around the cell. Step 3. When you finish entering the formula, click next to the formula bar or press the enter key. The cell will display the formula result and not the formula. In case you change the data within the cell range, then the result will automatically change. Entering Compound Formula Compound formulas are used when more than one operator is required to perform the calculation. The order of mathematical operations is very important. In MS Excel, the order of the operations is Operations enclosed in parenthesis, exponential calculations, multiplication and division, whichever comes first, addition and subtraction, whichever comes first. Let us use compound formula to calculate percentage of a student. Step 1. Select the cell H3 in which you want to display the result. Step 2. Type an equal sign and then type the formula equal to bracket C3 plus D3 plus E3 plus F3 plus D3 bracket closed slash 500 asterisk 100. Notice the color of the cell name typed in the formula and the corresponding color of the border that appears around the cell. Step 3. When you finish entering the formula, click next to the formula bar or press the enter key. Text formula. A sentence is a string of characters. You cannot do operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on it. However, you can still join the strings by using ampersand character. When you add two strings, it is called concatenation of strings. To concatenate two strings, follow the steps. Step 1. Click the cell where you want to display the result. Step 2. Type the text formula, for example, equal to percentage ampersand is. Step 3. Click or press the enter key to view the output. Cell references. For identifying a cell or a range of cells in a worksheet, references are used. The cell address in a formula is known as cell reference. There are three types of cell references. Relative reference. It is based on the relative position of the cell contained in the formula. A spreadsheet cell reference by default is known as relative. When a formula is copied and pasted to other cells, the cell reference in formula or function changes relatively to the location where it is copied. Like for example, if a formula is equal to C1 plus D1 or sum bracket C1 is to D1 is written in cell F1, 
and is copied to F2, then the formula will change to equal to C2 plus D2 for cell F2. Absolute Reference A cell in a specific location in a formula is always known as absolute reference. It can be done by using a dollar sign in front of a row or column. The reference of the cell remains the same even if the position of cell containing the formula changes. For example, $D1, $5 is an absolute address. Mixed reference Mixed cell reference either fixes a row number or column letter of the same cell address. In this reference, there is an absolute column and a relative row or vice versa. An absolute row reference takes the form B$2, C$2 and so on. An absolute column reference takes the form $C1, $D1 and so on. Creating a formula using cell referencing The given steps should be followed for creating a formula. Step 1. Choose the cell in which you will enter the formula. We will select the cell H3 in our example. Step 2. Type the equal to sign. Now enter the formula C3 plus D3 plus E3 plus F3 plus G3. Step 3. Press the enter key on the keyboard. The result will be calculated and shown in the cell. Step 4. To copy the formula, select the cell. Move the cursor to the bottom right corner of the selected cell. Step 5. Observe a small square. Drag it downward till the last cell of the range where you wish to copy the formula. Step 6. Release the mouse button. The formula is copied and the result is displayed. Functions A function is a predefined formula which performs calculations using specific values in particular order. Some of the common functions which can be used easily are sum, difference, product, average, minimum, maximum, etc. A function has different paths. Writing the function in correct order is known as syntax. The syntax of the function is the equal sign, function name, for example, sum, one or more arguments, variables. Arguments can be both individual cells and the cell range which encloses within parentheses. Arguments should be mentioned using colon, for example, the function sum, bracket C3 colon G3 would calculate the sum of the values in the cell range C3 colon G3. Function Library The function library group contains a set of menus that organize Excel functions according to specific categories for ease of reference. There are mainly 11 categories like financial, logical, text, date and time, lookup and reference etc. which have more than 100 formulas clubbed under them. Common Functions there are hundreds of functions in Excel which have been divided into mainly 11 categories. Some of the most commonly used categories are math and trigonometry functions, sum, product, etc. Statistical, average, minimum, maximum, etc. Date and time functions, today, now, etc. The table given below shows the usage of functions in Excel. Function Category Description Syntax Sum Math and trigonometry Adds values of a range Equal to Sum Bracket Number 1 Number 2 And so on Count Statistical Returns a count of text or numbers in a range Equal to Count Bracket Value 1 Value 2 And so on Average Statistical Averages a series of arguments. Equal to average bracket number 1, number 2 and so on. Minimum statistical returns the smallest value in a series. Equal to min bracket number 1, number 2 and so on. Max statistical 
returns the largest value in a series equal to max bracket number one number two and so on product math and trigonometry multiples the values in a range equal to product bracket number one number two and so on round math and trigonometry rounds a number to the specified digits equal to round bracket number num underscore digits sqrt math and trigonometry returns the positive square root of a given number equal to sqrt bracket number power math and trigonometry returns the result of a number raised to a power equal to power bracket number power mod math and trigonometry returns the remainder when a number is divided by another number equal to mod bracket number divisor now date and time returns the current date and time equal to now bracket today date and time returns the current date equal to today bracket inserting functions a variety of functions are there in excel every function has the same structure for example sum bracket a1 colon a4 the name of this function is sum we give excel the range a1 colon a4 as input this function adds the values in cells a1 a2 a3 and a4 to use a function in microsoft excel follow the steps step 1 Select the cell here H3 where the answer will appear. Step 2. Click the formulas tab. Select the auto sum option from function library group. Step 3. Click on the function which you want to use. For example, let's find out average here. Step 4. A dashed box appears around C3 through G3. If you want, you can change the cell range. Step 5. Press Enter. The average will be displayed. Step 6. Use Fill Handle to copy the function to other cells. Using Insert Function. Insert Function dialog box is used to look for a particular function from among Excel's 11 function categories. Let us discuss here how to find LCM, least common multiple, of three numbers. Step 1. Click on the cell, let's say cell A1, where you want to enter a function. Step 2. Click on Insert Function button present under Formulas tab or click on the Insert Function button present on the Formula bar. The insert function dialog box will appear and an equal to sign will be placed in the selected cell. Step 3. You can search for the function that you want to perform by typing a brief description in the search for a function text box. Step 4. Click on the down arrow button in or select a category. Here choose math and trigonometry text box to select the category of function from the categories of available functions. Step 5. Click on function you want to use in the select a function LCM drop down options. Step 6. Click on OK to continue. The function arguments dialog box appears. Step 7. Type the cell addresses in the respective text boxes. If the number you want to use does not appear in your worksheet, type the number. Step 8. Click on Next box to enter the next number. Repeat steps 7 and 8 until you have entered all the numbers you want to use in calculation. Note that the result of the formulas appears near the bottom of the dialog box. Step 9. Click on OK. The result of the function appears in the cell. The formula bar displays the function for the cell. Error results. Sometimes you will see that the formulas you entered did not give the result like you expected. 
Instead, there is a text shown and when you click on that cell, an exclamation mark is shown on the left side of the cell. This value is called error result and they appear when there is some problem with the formula entered or Excel is unable to evaluate it. The following table shows some common errors in formula in Excel and their possible reasons. Error message Possible reason Hash num exclamation It means that there is a problem with some number used in the formula. Hash name question mark Excel displays this text when the formula consists of an unrecognized name. This can happen when you have made spelling mistakes while writing the formula. Hash n slash a It means that the data is not available. Hash div slash zero exclamation It means that the formula contains an invalid operation that is division by zero. Hash value exclamation It means that the formula contains invalid data. Hash ref exclamation It means the formula refers to invalid cell address. 4 times hash It means column width is too small to display the result. The number of hash may vary 